Hello, my name is Leslie Atherton and this is my short story called Ebola. Well, that's that. That's that. You brought it in, you put it down, you ignored it. But I knew it was important. From overseas it was. So I looked at it, I opened it and I read it to you. And that was that. I could see it in your face and know you that well. You're outraged and can't believe they would tell you through the post just like that. It's not as if they were inviting you for a dental checkup or in asking you to support the Greens or something. This is life and death stuff. You ranted and raved silently, but you don't want to know now. To you, it's as if Georgie never existed, as if you'd never kissed his tired little cheeks and told him how much you love him. It's as if you can't read or won't read the news of him. Twenty-seven years old is George. Sorry, was George. George was twenty-seven. He was bright and silly and reckless and he was our son, wasn't he? He was. When he said he wanted to work overseas, I didn't have a clue what he was talking about. Neither of us did, did we, love? I mean, at first, I thought he was getting a transfer with the company, you know, a big move to the Paris or Brussels branch, and I had it in my head that we'd go for holidays to stay with our rich son. But no, he was packing in his job, packing it in, to work for some aid organisation I'd not even heard of, in an African country that I hadn't heard of either. And now this. I've had to read and read and read their letter, and I'm still not sure what they're going on about. Yet to be identified virus. What the heck does that mean? Flu? I started putting the dinner dishes away and you looked up at me. Ebola. That's what you said. Ebola. He's got Ebola. I started to protest. But why not? It could be that. True to form, my other half is thinking the worst and so am I. Our son's dying of Ebola. We can't go to him, mainly because we haven't the money. But I'm sure we wouldn't be allowed. Not yet. Well, I've not checked. It's probably too late anyway. That's what we're both thinking. We're too late to watch our son die. So to us, he may as well already be dead. And I know I'm talking of him as if he's gone already, but to me, to us, he is. He died the day he left. Another couple, love, I ask. You nod. Ebola, you say again. I nod. Aye, well, I say. Likely he brought it on himself. Yes, probably he did.